Hello everyone, I am Sujit. Okay, so this video is about connecting your Tableau BI tool to a MongoDB server. So as you know, MongoDB has no schema for storing its documents. So we will represent MongoDB data onto this BI uh, Tableau tool in tabular format. So I am using Windows image on my virtual box which is a 64 bit windows 7 image i have downloaded and installed tableau desktop 9.3 so please do this because we will not be going through the installation process of tableau okay and <clears throat> for mongodb i am running using a uh, ubuntu trusty environment wherein i am running enterprise edition of mongodb let's go to ubuntu and I have already installed the MongoDB BI connector as well. Let's check the version of the MongoDB. So I'm using Enterprise Edition with 3.2.7 as version. The Mongo BI user is 1.1.3. So I have already installed all this. So let's take give you a glance of the installation process the installation process is pretty straightforward as you can see the bi connector is supported only for these platform platforms you can download the packages from this link and as per your platform you can follow the instructions and install the bi connector once you are done with the installation of bi connector what you have to do is firstly you need to create a mongo bi user so let's go ahead and do that so i have already a mongo user with the name so i'll just delete that drop list. okay so we are creating a user with name bi user the URL of our MongoDB driver it's up and running on localhost port number on which the server is running so since I don't want to restrict my user to any particular database I am getting rid of the extra database URI create a password looks like it has created the user Secondly, we have to create schema. So Tableau requires data to be in tabular format. So this Mongo BI connector helps to create a schema which can be translate, which can be used to translate the Mongo documents. So we need to create that schema. So host is localhost database is bi user so since i do i don't want to i want to create schema for all my collections so i'm skipping this minus c option to pass in the collection name this is the file name this file has been created let's have a glance at it so this is the file and it has created for db this there are tables table one and table two okay so covering the specification of this schema is not in the scope of this video we'll go through it in some other video so now since you have seen the schema let me show you the data how it's stored so i have a bi database bi user database under it it has one collection named as t1 so i'm using robo mongo to view my documents it's pretty straightforward documents i have a nested document here i have an array which has documents within it okay so let's go back to our installer so now that we have created the schema we need to 
import this schema for your user yeah so if you see it has created one table t1 and the another table t1 underscore array ar so last thing which you would have to do is download the postgres driver for windows or mac depending upon the environment in which you are running your tabular tool so download it from this link installation is a simple installer so you can just double click and do the installation so this is the part where things get tricky so we need to connect now from our tableau to this mongodb connector and then to our mongodb instance where our data is stored so let's go to our windows environment so i'm using tableau desktop 9.3 I have already installed the Postgres driver for Windows. So come down here, write ODBC. Firstly, we need to create a data source. So let's go ahead and do that. The database name is BY user, the server IP. The default port on which BI connector runs is 27032. The username is BI user, password is BI user. Let's test this connection. Okay, so it looks like the connection is successful. Let's save this data source. And okay, so now we'll try to connect to that data source and that data with that driver, Postgres driver install, it would connect to the bi connector and then to our mongodb so go here new so my tableau is still in evaluation phase so this is something the workspace where you need to work you can do all your analytics and first but before doing all those things we need to connect to our data so let's go and get connected to our data so as you can see there are multiple servers to which you can connect but tableau assumes that all these things are in tabular format so since our collection uh, mongodb is not in a tabular format we are connecting it via odbc drivers so click on this select your data source which you have created this imported the data which we saved while creating the data source okay now if you see just refresh this if you see the server is connected the database and if you refresh it you can see two tables have been created and if you remember t1 underscore array is the table which represents the array column in our document okay let's drag and drop it here now if you see there are total seven records in this and this record doesn't have any information on it so if you have observed the video carefully you might have noticed that this document is the document which had embedded array in it okay so since it doesn't have any attributes on its immediate level it has create uh, so this representation is not having any attribute here so how will I get the data available on the array so for that we have the drive. bi connector has created a separate table and if you drag and drop it and if you see because of the inner join we are able to retrieve that data and the uh, 
and the values on it okay so i hope you are able to connect to your mongodb from your tableau bi tool on windows machine okay thanks you thank you